All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. So I wanted to take a minute or two and talk about this article I found um, yesterday or the day before. It was published on May 30th. Today it is officially early morning, June 2nd. It's over on AsianMMA.com. You can go check it out. And it is by Andrew Whitelaw. Shout out to Andrew. Got a good guy covering, working in MMA media. Someone in the MMA media I genuinely respect. So shout out to him. It says, uh, Wei Li Zan blasts interfering Rose Nami Yunus. Now, I'm going to read through this a bit, and then I'm going to give my opinion, and then I'm go- at the end I'm going to ask for your opinion. Because I'm... more than likely it might differ from mine. It j- just depends. But we'll see. Anyway, yeah. Weili Zan bless interfering Rose Nami Yunus. It says Weili Zan faces Joanna Young at UFC 275 next month, which now it's this month. Uh, she's coming off a pair of losses to Rose Nami Yunus, who has provided her with an unwelcome distraction as she prepares to fight in Singapore. Nami Yunus lost the strawweight belt after putting in, in one of the worst performances in UFC title history against Carla Sparza. Now I will say that was an unnecessary bit there. In the writing, that's a little bit of editorializing. That just not saying it was one of the worst performances. It was, but that's just adding something extra on. Anyway, it says, but the former champion knows that it, what it takes to beat Zan and reached out to Young Jacek to offer to help her prepare for next month's bout. For Zan, this was an unwelcome distraction, and she finds the entire incident a bit bizarre. Quote: Well, if I'm Rose, I would not do something like this. Because Joanna has her own team. ATT is a very professional elite team. They produced many champions. And you go interfere at this point, that's a little bit, I don't know what she's trying to do. And then it has the, the post, it's a video interview on Instagram. And it says, uh, disrespectful intentions. Zan feels that Nami Yunus was showing disrespect to ATT by offering to get involved in Yon Jacek's training camp. Quote, does she think Joanna's team is not good enough or what? I don't know. I definitely would not do that in her shoes. Says there have also been reports that the UFC wanted to make this a five-rounder, but Zahn had turned down the offer. But she poured cold water on these claims, making it clear she was open to fighting the full 25 minutes. Quote, of course, if they would really do that, no problem on my end. A big bonus would be nice, end quote, she said. And then shows another photo of her training at Bangtao Muay Thai. And, uh... We'll skip over a bit of the article. Here's what I want to get to. In my opinion, this comes off as like major, major butthurt on the part of Whaley. Why are you even worried about this? Like, okay, Rose, who beat you twice, offered to help Joanna, who you squeezed by in the first fight. So what? Fighters offer to help each other train all the time. Fighters switch around camps all the time. Fighters go to other camps and help them train all the time. This is no big deal. And for you to even like want to think about this only a few weeks out from the rematch of one of your toughest fights ever, why are you letting this distract you? It just seems to me like... Rose is still living in Whaley's head rent free. Absolutely rent free. Rose is still in there. And probably gonna, you might think to yourself, but Chuck, she was asked a question about it in an interview. Okay. All you have to do is say, whatever, and then move on. That's all you got to give an answer to is just whatever. That's on her. Who cares? But. I think Wei Li is still mad at Rose, and she's mad that she lost twice, got knocked out in a little over a minute, and then lost a close decision. To me, this comes across as Wei Li being a bit butthurt, and that Rose is still living in her head rent-free. But here's the thing I want to get to. It says, uh, where does she say? You know, ATT, but you know, because I would not do something like this because Joanna has her own team. 
ATT is a very professional elite team that produced many champions. And you go interfere at this point. That's a little bit. I don't know what she's trying to do. And then the next thing is, does she think Joanna's team is not good enough or, or what? I don't know. I definitely would not do that in her shoes. But here's the thing. The top of the picture of the article is Wei Li training at Bang Tao Muay Thai, which is the hot new gym in Phuket, Thailand. Like, Tiger Muay Thai is practically yesterday's old news. Bang Tao is like the hot new gym over there. And no disrespect to Tiger Muay Thai, but I mean, like, everybody that's going to Thailand right now is going to Bang Tao right now. And it even says... Uh, in the article, she has been preparing for the fight at Bang Tao Muay Thai in Phuket. The winner... I'm sorry. So it's it's okay for Wei Li to go train somewhere else. Not at home. Not at her gym. Not with her own team. But it's not okay for someone to offer to help Joanna train. And go actually to Joanna's team and assist. It's okay for Wei Li to go outside of camp to train, but it's not okay for someone outside of Ioana's camp to offer her to train. It seems a bit hypocritical to me. Seems a bit hypocritical to me. I don't know. Here's the thing. I like watching Wei Li fight. I think she is an excellent fighter. And she will be champ again someday. My problem with Wei Li, I think get that knockout loss really did something to her mentally. Like, I think she was just sitting on top of the world, first Chinese UFC champ, thinking maybe she was invincible, and then boom, she eats a kick eats a few punches on the ground in a little over a minute, and then it just, like, shattered her mentally. I, I like Wei Li as a fighter. I just think that she needs to seek help. I think she should enlist a sports psychologist. And I have no doubt that there are great sports psychologists in China because you're talking about a country that funds sports like crazy like the government puts big money into their sports and i think that with her being a big internationally known athlete which is great pr for them that they'd be willing they definitely should have some sports psychologists there available in china and i think whaley needs some sports psychologist help from i mean blaming the crowd distracting her in the knockout loss to Rose. And then now it's like, this is like bothering her, like taking it as disrespectful while you're not even training in your own camp. And this is something that bothers you a couple weeks out before a huge rematch that could see you outside of that could send you outside of title contention for the next couple of years? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, what do you think as the viewer? Is this butt hurt from Wei Li? Is it a bit hypocritical for her to say that kind of thing while she's training outside of her own camp and talking about someone offering to help Joanna? Is this just butt hurt or... What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a like. Share it as well. I'll provide a link to the article in question in the description. And uh, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to WMMAC Now, the best, most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.